Good evening, my friends. I'm Nero. Welcome back. We'll be playing Spyro here in a few moments. I want to talk about a word I use a lot, and a word I think a lot of people use a lot. I want to talk about love, because there are lots of kinds of love, and I want to talk about some of the different kinds over the next couple videos. Um, one of the things, maybe some of you noticed, maybe some of you haven't, when I'm playing group games with my friends on Twitch, uh, almost always on Friday nights, usually on Wednesday nights, sometimes those get switched around, it, it, it varies. Uh, so check me out on Twitch. When I'm playing group games with my friends, when we conclude, I do tell my friends, I love you all. Some of them, I, I, I understand that might make, that might confuse them, or they might be a little uncertain about that. But love is kind of a big, broad term. And so I want to, I want to kind of dissect it and look at the ways that they overlap. Uh, and I want to start with just basic human love. Love for, for other people, love for living creatures, love for, love for positivity love for the sake of love and I think that's a very important thing to have just as as a functional member of society one of the best case points I have for this is the uh, generic de human decency litmus test of putting your shopping cart away I know that sounds very simple, it sounds very oversimplified, but there's more to it than that. Because putting your shopping cart away when you go shopping, rather than leaving it in the parking lot, that's not to critique people who are in an emergency situation, or even if you just take it to the little the little container stand in the parking lot, you know, you know the one where they take up a parking space for carts, for shopping carts to, to go back in that little cage so they only have to go to one place. What that says about you as a person is a lot. I don't care if necessarily you're the friendliest. Uh, I don't care if you're the most polite, if, if you're the most sociable. If you put a cart away, everyone liked that. That says, I don't want to make your job harder than it has to be. I don't want to impede or intrude upon other people who are trying to park or walk through the parking lot. I want everybody to have as good of a time as possible. And I think that is kind of the, the core tendency of, of basic human love. Is I want people to be, I say this a lot, and some of you who have watched me before know that I say this a lot, I want people to be happy and healthy. And I want them to find that balance in a way that balances with everyone else. And that is, to me, the core of human love. There are people that I love but don't particularly like. There are people I like but don't particularly love. And I'm working on that because I think loving everyone is, is an important step. It's an important practice. And one of the things I do acknowledge is that love is, is a verb. It's a conscious choice. It's a deliberate effort in many cases. And one of the reasons I want to talk about love for people in general is what I'm going to talk about next week, which is internal love. But we'll get to how that overlaps next week. Loving, loving other people even just as a way of uh, of kind of a I love people I, I, I want people to thrive and do well for themselves and that's an important thing to have and it's not always easy there's a lot of people that are hard to love there's a lot of people that make it difficult there's a lot of aspects of society that make loving other people 
so difficult. And so it's finding, for me, it's finding simple things of, I want this person to not suffer. I, I want this person to feel accomplished. I want, I want for others a, a system and a society and a sentiment that reflects how I would hope they treat others beyond that. Sometimes that's as simple as making a cashier laugh. Sometimes it's letting someone go first, even if you had right of way, even if they cut you off. You know what? Move on with your life. It's okay. <sighs> There's a lot of parts that are hard to love about people, but there are a lot of things that are very, very enjoyable to love about people. I love seeing the way kids' eyes light up when they get to pet my dogs. I I love that. I love I love other people getting to enjoy socializing with other living creatures. And it's very important to have that, I think. It's very important to be able to acknowledge that there's more to love than just romantic, uh, platonic, and what, what love is. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Let's get into Spyro. I've ranted enough. We'll rant more next week. It'll be fine. I'm still addicted to this crystal fight. I want, I want it. I want it so bad. I'm recording? I'm recording, yes. All right, so as you remember, we were trying to get this whole crystal flight done. I'm sure there's a way to do this. I don't know if I know the most efficient route. I'm sure there's a more efficient route than I'm doing. Oh, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. It's fine. Because I stopped doing arches and I started doing treasure chests. I want it. I want it so bad. I will, I will be happy if I can... If I can get 100% on one of these flights. Just one, just one. Two could be as bad as one. But I want it. I want it. Each one of these guys for three seconds, which is incredible. behind me, isn't there? But there's no way to do just uh, an aerial. Oh, no! Into the water. <sighs> I want it so bad. I'm gonna give this one more try. Just, just one more. Just one more. One more. One more. One more. I'm a little worried about talking about love in the first parts of my videos because next week's going to be self-love and that can be taken the wrong way. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I 
did not. Oh my goodness, did I do it? Did I do this? Don't mess up, 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 don't mess up. I did it! I'm a dragon! I'm a dragon. I'm a dragon. I'm a dragon. Would you like to try again? No! No, I don't want to do that again. Ever. Ever again. But I did it once. I am happy having done it once. I am... I'm elated. I am delighted. And now there's a fairy shooting me. You know. The, the, the correct celebration. Getting shot by a fairy. There's a way to blow that up. And I don't know what it is. Seems like there should be fireworks or something. kind of hoping his wizard blast would do something. Hey, blast me. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Well, now I need to find some sheep. I hope you're happy. There better be some sheep around here. Wizard peak. I don't want to peek at a wizard. Go to Wizard Beak. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to start kind of pushing through this game a little bit faster. At least trying to. I might be a little more focused. Edge of your seat! Oh, certainly not going to lose my mind for, you know, half an hour while trying to find a single... Uh, a single level that doesn't exist in that world. That would be silly. Can you imagine? Blowhard. Ride a druid platform for 10 seconds. Did I just do blowhard? Ah. Ow! The uh, turning on, on a dragon is not, not as quick as you might hope. need to find some sheep. Uh, dodge lightning. Now, if I were sheep, where would I be? Not here. All right, dragon. Jarvis. I loved you Welcome in Iron Man. To Wizard Peak. This is my favorite supercharged spot. Use it to bash those wizards. All right. This one. Okay. Okay, that's that's fair. That is a pretty cool supercharged spot. All right, torch and stuff. Clank. Sheep. I need my dragonfly back. Here we go. All is right with the world. Can I get more supercharged? Can I double supercharge? We're gonna find out. I want to double supercharge. This extra cheese. Oh, I guess I could just hop up and actually get the gems. Um, 
that. I bet I know. Yeah, I bet I know. I bet I know. That would have been silly. I would have died. Still might. Day's not over yet. I don't know how he thought mocking me while standing on the edge of a cliff was a good idea. It was a great idea for, for me. Like, I really appreciated that, actually. I need more people to mock me while standing on the edge of a cliff. Ooh, that was water. Pexis! That's a cool name. Are you a cool dragon? Well done, Bird Staff. Spyro. Thank you for releasing me. Kind of empty words of gratitude. I'm still not entirely, un uh, entire entirely convinced that we're not the bad guys. It's it's hard to be feel good when we started off by being like, yeah, this guy that we've never met before. Oh, he sucks. Like. And he's ugly, and he stinks, and, and all that stuff. Just, it just seems really weird. Ah, uh, yes, this is gonna be interesting. Very interesting. We're gonna go super fast. It's gonna be very dangerous and reckless. Burn a sheep. Collect gems, because I know there's hidden gems. Glide. Headbutt. And glide. Headbutt. And glide. Got him. I'm gonna get in. He thinks he's so clever. He thinks he's so clever. Ooh, I'm on the other side of the water. That actually worked out really well for him. Right up until that. <laughs> Give me a few minutes. Give me a few minutes. I know. I can tell you're getting antsy. Wizards talking? You're not allowed to not allowed to confer with your neighbors. That's cheating. <sighs> Just a moment. My dog wants to go to the backyard. I'm gonna make her use a word though. Hold please. <sighs> Can you use your word? Can you use your word? Okay. We'll be right back. Oh, those goofy, goofy puppies. <sighs> they get to go play in the backyard because they use their words. We have a little word button that they get to press when they want to go somewhere. Works well. Except when they do it in the middle of my recording. They act like they didn't get to just go on like a several mile walk this morning. 
<sighs> goofy, goofy puppies. I want to make that troll hit the wizard. <laughs> oh, that was delightful. I like the part where the, the, the wizard got hit by the troll. That was one of my favorite parts. Lucas! Listen carefully, Spyro. There's a secret area in the artisan's home world near the waterfall. Try jumping on the stones there. Artisan's home world? Waterfall. Sounds good. Is it the flight level? Cause honestly, been there, done that. I'm missing just a ton of gems. I know I said I was going to speed run. I know I said I was just going to go through and not care about 100%ing it, but... I don't know. How do I get up there? Oh, do I have to speed charge back up the ramp? I better have to speed charge back up. Supercharge. That's the uh, Almost. Oh. There's also all this. It's weird. Didn't I come through here? So this is how I got. Yeah, I came through here in the first place. where I started, isn't it? Ooh. Ah, ha <laughs> ha! think you're so clever. Hiding big chunks of world from me. Well, you are. That's actually a really clever design. It's very subtle. Kind of, uh, if you don't know about it, you might miss it. Which is, I mean, that is good level design. Can't be too unhappy about a well-designed game, I guess. Ah, all right, we got this, we got this. Poor she. That's a wall. Haha. <laughs> gotcha. I'm missing 16 crystals, gems, whatever. Ooh, that was close. That's like a box worth. This might be a situation where I just say, I don't care anymore. It's not that I don't care, it's that... It's diminishing returns, you know? Like, it's not that I'm not having fun, but I would be having more fun not having to go on a 16 gem scavenger. level is awesome though. Flying gems and crystals and stuff. Oh man, this place too. I feel like there's someone I'm missing.
Oh, well. Can't be that important, right? It's like a single box somewhere that I just kind of walk past. Well, there's one, two, I guess, technically. So 14. I'm missing 14. We're just going to keep going. We're just going to keep going. It's fine. While we're returning home, I'm going to go let my dogs back inside because I'm sure they're ready to come back inside. Hold, please. In case you weren't aware, I have good puppies. <gasps> good puppies. My turn. Yeah. Yeah, I have good puppies. Oh, oh, that was almost disastrous. All's well. All right. Where were we? Blowhard. Are we ready for blowhard? Yeah, that 14 gems can be bugging me, but not enough to really care about. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do blowhard. Can we do it in two minutes? Probably not. It's okay. Confronting Blowhard, which I'm guessing is the boss. Any second now. There we go. Did I unmute? I think I'm unmuted. I do want to check that before we go any further. Yes, okay. My microphone is on. You can hear me. Good. That would have been embarrassing. If I had a nickel for every time that happened, I'd actually be not insanely wealthy. Been more than one occasion that uh, I forgot to unmute my microphone. I would prefer they were not doing that. They can't electrocute each other. Good to know. All right. That's not a door. If it looks like a door, it's not a door. I'm supposed to ride a druid platform for 10 seconds. One hit. And that's my alarm saying, hey, you need to stop recording. But no, I don't. 
I need to keep recording. We're gonna finish Blowhard first. It's fine. Yeah, all right. I can do this. Just gonna, just gonna hang out. Yeah. Art gallery unlocked. What? Part one of the art gallery has been locked. Okay. okay. The art gallery? <gasps> what? This is like what I've been trying to do, but I'm not as good at it. Ah, my eye itches. Okay, these are really cute. This is actually helping a lot. Dragon statue. Norks. Dreamweaver fools. What? Giant pansy, armored horror, and demon dogs? What? Do you see that thing? Did that, that, hold on. Let me make sure. No. That, that thing, that thing, that thing. That thing that's on the screen. That's horrifying. I love it. I want one. Toasty. It's a very angry burned sheep, as it turns out. Dr. Shempit Blowhard. Metalhead. I haven't encountered most of these guys. Dude, spoilers. <laughs> oh, that was a bad decision. I have to start the way back there. Because I haven't. I do. That's frustrating. Ow. I forget, not done that. Ow. Ow. Keep doing the things I don't want them to. Seriously, they need some sheep in this place. Altair, what is this? Uh, Assassin's Creed? Thanks for releasing me, Spyro. He's you not have no well. idea how long I've been trapped in Crystal. And, uh, neither do I. Who are you again? Um, I'm out of here. He's got the same kind of sassy conversation as uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Wow, 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 wow. That's what their magic does. To be fair, it's pretty impressive magic. I, I'd say wow if I was doing that kind of magic. I'd say wow if I was doing any kind of magic. Magic's awesome. It's like dragons, but not also not real. That's very sad. I made myself sad. Now I'm thinking about dragons. Oh, and now doing that has opened up whole new possibilities of catastrophe. Yep, that's what you get. Fire in the face. Just like everybody else I encountered. Do it again. Do it again. You won't. He, he won't, because I'm going to breathe fire on him. It's going to be great. I was there. You were there. 
Yes. I feel pretty good about that. Yeah. And this is where we're going to leave off. We're going to do one more recording for our batch recording, because at least we have to. This is still delightful. I am still enjoying Spyro. We're, uh, what looked like halfway through the game? Yeah. And we're going to start picking up the pace. Like I said, I'm, I'm not going to be as as detail-oriented about uh, getting all the, all the little things. But thank you. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for pretending I have any idea what I'm doing. Thank you for this uh, pretending this is entertaining at all. I'm, I'm trying to find a good balance of things. Because uh, I want everybody to enjoy themselves, including my dogs. For now, we're going to conclude this episode, and we will see you again next week. Thank you so much. And for now, my friends, don't forget to hydrate. Hydrating is important. Let's go ahead and take a hydration break right now. Victory hydration. Victory hydration. Celebrate your victories. Love each other. We'll see you next week. For now, my friends, farewell. <laughs>